This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready, his mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night time. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Johnson! And now is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Oh, big left. It's a right hand. Round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range. He starts thinking about striking. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old dog. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Johnson gets the double leg takedown. Nicely done. And he's back up. Johnson going for the body. Missed with that kick. That is a furious inside leg. Have you ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick that hey, well, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shit. Oh! Back 
to his feet. He didn't let that one down. And how much more can he take? All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. We cross the midpoint in round one. Side control. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, big left hand! He's hooking it bad, man. That right hook is nasty. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Johnson's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Oh, big elbow. Lands to the body. Oh, rips the body shot there. Great job showing different kicks to his opponent. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. We might get a stoppage here soon. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another ground and pound strike. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champion of the world.